Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, as we're pr uh, closing in on the uh, starting spring tillage for 2018, I thought I'd do a quick overview of the tools that we use in this area on our farm uh, and kind of explain to you what each one of them does and then I'll get some videos of each one of them in action later on. But uh, and I've got videos of some of them in action, but anyhow, that's uh, that's where we're going to start. First thing we do, we start by moldboard plowing or turning plow, bottom plow. Uh, they're called a lot of things, but they're moldboard plow. And what that does is uh, breaks the ground, turns the ground over. Um, that gets our first step in our tillage regiment, if you will. Um, we use it and there's several different ones. This is a three bottom 14 inch forward plow uh, Safety spring trip plow that we use uh, That's my that's the plow. I'll be plowing with for the most part this year uh, So that's our first step. We will turn it over. We like to turn it as quickly as possible That helps uh, for the soil to break down. It helps in the second step of getting ground ready uh, if it's new ground or sod ground, we really like to fight, plow it in the fall, but you know a lot of that depends on weather conditions. So that's uh, that's our first step is the mow board plowing or the turning plow, and that's the forward 14 inch three bottom. Down here we have uh, this is a set of John Deere model. I think there's 35s. Uh, made in the 60s. They are also 14 inch uh, spring trip two bottom uh, that are pretty much worn out. Uh, don't use them anymore. Uh, good set of plows but uh, you know they're just pretty much worn out. And here is a set of uh, another set of Ford uh, 101s. These are also 14 inch. These are two bottom spring trips. Uh, those are not mine, but uh, as you can see, there's there's a couple different ones that uh, are available out there. But we all we use three-point hitch mounted. We don't use a trail plow just because of the size of fields we're doing. Now, once we get the ground turned over, we take a set of disc cars. Once again, three-point hitch mounted. We have small fields, uh, trail mounted, or bog cars, or offset disc, or just uh, too big and too cumbersome for our area but uh, we use this and we typically depend on the uh, shape of the ground you know how much work it needs tip we will go over this one or two times with we'll go over the ground one or two times with the disc cars to uh, break the ground down get it knocked down and get it ready for uh, final preparation but uh, so we do one pass with the turning plows, one pass with the turning plows, and usually one to two with the disc. Um, we'll go over a piece of ground once or twice, usually at the same time. Go over it once, knock it down, then set the disc to cut a little more, and then go over it again. Some ground we can get by with that being the final step. Uh, most of our ground we have to go over with the final tool, but uh, so we, we mow board ply it. We disc it once or twice, and then our final step in prepping the ground is we use a nine shank ripper. <laughs> and this one is on its last legs. I'll, uh, I've got to replace this plow at some point, but uh, this is just a nine shank ripper, and we use a drag log behind it to smooth it back up. And typically, we'll go over a piece of ground once or twice with hit and uh, that will be that will be sufficient for what we're doing and then once we've got that done we usually have our seed bed prepped to the point that it is uh, good to go and uh, we've got a spring there well you can see that or not it's almost off so uh, that's not a good thing but uh, that's uh, that's what we do Usually, if we are incorporating fertilize, granular fertilize, uh, we will do it after the uh, discarring 
and before the spring plowing or the ripper plow. So uh, spring tooth, whatever you want to call it, nine chain. Um, that's typically when we apply our fertilizer. And we'll, we'll go through all those steps as we get started. Right now, our primary goal is to try to start getting some ground turned and uh, get ready for everything. I do have to replace some wearable parts on this plow to have them ready to go. And uh, once we get started on that, it'll be good to go. But uh, that's just kind of a brief walkthrough of what we will be doing. Uh, it appears we're going to have somewhere around 20 acres in production this year. So uh, we've got a lot to do. And the sooner we can get started, the sooner we can get done. So until next time, like us, subscribe to us, check out our Facebook page, Rocky Hollow Farm. And thanks for watching. We will catch you later. Bye.